And we are back, Earthlings. Avery Sports Show. Livestream.com slash Avery Sports. Want to call to the program. Number to call 780-628-1771. Extension code 260. Don't want to call? Email the program at fightingpike one hotmail.com or join livestream.com chat i see undertaker he's back in there first time in a while he's in there i know he's commenting on the on my little rant about how i was saying you know the fatties you can't run he was saying how amen to the fatties only though who can only dream of being an athlete <laughs> and he's saying well let me rephrase many can only dream of walking two blocks without having to stop those overweight buggers <laughs> i know it's funny it, it was, that rant that rant got me fired up. That rant, I was thinking about saying, <laughs> I had to stop myself for a second and say, wait a minute, don't say something that's too deep. I had to stop myself for a second there because I could have gone on a rant that would have me. <laughs> oh boy, you know what? Self-control is the goal. Self-control is the goal in that sense. I had to bring things back to earth before I popped a blood vessel in my eye. That would not have been fun. <laughs> anyway, folks. Dang it. Call in, correct me on that. No more folks. <laughs> I was mentioning before the break, Michael Phelps. I posted a question on Twitter. Michael Phelps, 19 gold medal accomplishments. Is that to you in your mind? To me, it's one of the greatest accomplishments of all time in sports, period. But to you, people out there on Twitter, is that the greatest accomplishment in Olympic history? Do you say yay or do you say nay? Let me know. Hit me up with some feedback. I'm trying to do this more often now. I'm, I've been doing it for the past month now. Constant questions during the show, during commercial, during the commercial break that I will hit out to you during. I, I want more interaction. I want even more interaction. I want even more interaction. I see JG Sports Talk on Twitter. Says that he, he agrees. Insane number. And Pete in Sudbury, Pete Uncensored. And he says to me, do you honestly think in your right mind anyone is going to disagree? You never know. Some people may dispute that. Some may say that the bold accomplishment is greater than Michael Phelps. Some may say that. I'm dead serious in that. I think Phelps is greater right now, but some will disagree with me. And he's saying, unless they think, unless they think he is doping. Yeah, of course. People are, honestly, people are going to say, no, he's on drugs. He's on steroids. Naturally, people are going to say that. Naturally, folks will disagree with me. Or some, some just want to argue for the sake of arguing. You always, no one is ever going to 100% agree on anything, no matter what the issue is. Be a greatest Olympian, be a great basketball player, be a greatest food, be a greatest piece of cheese. No matter what, there's going to be people who like it and people who don't. End of story on that. End of story. We're not 19 medals, though. What do you say? <laughs> Me and Michael Phelps, you just smile right now. Michael Phelps has been in the Olympics he's 15 years old he won silver in 2000 sydney so he's gonna call it quits after this year's games and just what a career what a career 19 medals i mean you put those all in your neck at once and you're gonna get some serious whiplash just insane the 19 medals that michael phelps has and he could have gotten more if it wasn't for ryan lochte i mean this is just the battle of phelps and lochte right now it's funny because it's it hasn't been until 2012 that people started this rivalry because, naturally, until now, Phelps has been, everybody's saying, undisputed king. People want to pass that title on to Lochte, though. But the thing is, though, Ryan Lochte, he's been around since Beijing, though. It's not like Lochte has been, a, uh, just uh, came out of nowhere. He's always been a part of the U.S. swim team. He's always been there. He's younger, yes, and he's fresher, yes, but he's always been there. It's not like Lochte said, you know what? I'm going to beat Michael Phelps. I'm going to come in 2012 and just start winning. No, he's always been there. He was on his swim team in 08. He's been there a long, long time. So I don't know why it's, always, it's been a shock now. Oh my gosh, he's beating Phelps. Not shocking. It's impressive, yes. It's very impressive, but shocking? Not at all. He's always been there. So, funny how they're just now playing up this rivalry. They, they could have done that. You know what, though? If you want to play it up better, if you don't get tired, why did you play the rivalry? back in Athens or Beijing. Why don't you play it up back then? Yes, then that would have been an even better round. That would have been more. You could have had, you know, oh, Lockheed Phelps, the first matchups. Phelps two and now three, the conclusion. That's you set up a rivalry. That's how you do it. No one Phelps gonna retire because that's so overplayed. 
the guy retiring, he keeps his throwing. That to me is so overplayed. Keep the keep the battles going on for the years down the line. Not just one one guy's gonna end cold quits. I think the passing a torch thing and to me has been played out in so many sports. It's old, it's tired, it's done. Get a new angle. Get a new angle in that sense. And it's funny now though with the broadcast of the Olympics how NBC right now is taking a lot of heat and there's actually a Twitter account right now called NBC Delayed. Where because remember, NBC, if you watch it, so many of the events, there's maybe only two or three events that we're seeing live on NBC, and the rest, they want to keep for prime time. They want to keep it all in prime time to show at 7 p.m., 8 p.m. The thing is though, it worked 20 years ago. Heck, even worked back in Sydney when there was no Twitter. But with, with the internet, we didn't get things as fast back then. Now, we're in an era in which I can find out any event I need to know just like that on Twitter. We're beating NBC. CTV, Sports and TSN, they're showing everything live. Because they realize, tape delay? We'll be screwed because everything, everybody knows what's going to happen. NBC still tape delaying stuff. And to me, tape delaying sports, it doesn't work anymore. We can get our stats, we can get our highlights, we can find the full game before the network airs it. So to me, and it costs less. So NBC, why is still day tape delaying? It's the archaic form of broadcast me measures that I think they'll have to, come 2014, they're gonna realize, crap, no one's watching the live, our late feed anymore. Go live all the time. To me, makes more sense than delaying half your stuff, and you will not see as many tweets about NBC delayed, which I'll get to after this commercial break, because some of their tweets are funny as heck, bash, making fun of NBC and delayed. We'll get to that after the commercial break. Avery Sports Show, livestream.com, slash Avery Sports. Call into the program, 780-628-1771, extension code 260. Booyah! 